Hi, I'm Anna Murphy. I play the Hurdy Gurdy and I'm a sound engineer here at the Sound Farm Studios in Lucerne. Today we're going to talk about Schertle equipment. I'd like to introduce you to a couple of their things. We'll be focusing especially on the yellow single acoustic class A preamplifier, which I've been using for quite a lot of years with the Hurdy Gurdy. We're going to have a look at their mixing desk and I'll play some tunes for you on their acoustic amplifier. So before I show you the equipment, I'd like to explain the instrument to you. Uh, a lot of musicians use Schertler equipment, violinists, guitarists, cellists, and hurdy-gurdy players. And while you may be familiar with a violin, you know, not everybody knows what a hurdy-gurdy actually is. So I'll just quickly explain it to you. The wheel functions like the bow of a violin and you play it with keys, kind of like an upside down piano, if you want to look at it that way. And you can make a lot of weird sounds with it, which is what I enjoy most about it. There are three sets of strings. These are the melody strings. You can play one at a time. But you can also play more, depending on the interval that you want to use. And it can get really weird. So there are also drone strings, which you might know from the bagpipe, which also uses drones. Just one low note that just resonates with the rest. There are trumpet strings. The rhythm function of the instrument. And all of the strings together sound like this. This instrument was built by Sebastian Hilsmann and the three-channel preamp system was developed by Schertler. Not only did Schertler customize the pickup system for the needs of the hurdy-gurdy, they also worked very closely with Sebastian and a lot of other professional hurdy-gurdy players to achieve the best possible sound. And the result of all of that is currently in this instrument. They are uh, Stat-V pickups. And each group of strings has its own pickup. So the, the melodies, the drones, and the trumpets. There are different types of systems that you can get with the purchase of this hurdy-gurdy. I am currently using uh, the simpler one. There is a pro system where you get a blue box where you can mix each of the string groups individually. And I think this is probably the best system if you're a solo artist or if you play in an acoustic group. I use the system where I do a mix myself. You have your like a sum channel of all of it. You have the, the drones, the trumpets and the melody separate. And then you basically I send out a mix just through one signal. So whatever arrives at the mixer it's already mixed. And the reason I have that is because I play in a rock band and I want to keep things as simple as possible because we have so much other crap going on on stage. Uh, and I think our front of house lady is very happy about that. Now we're going to take these things into the control room and I'll introduce you to my workflow. So we have moved into the control room of my studio where I'll show you my recording process for the hurdy-gurdy. I like to keep it pretty simple. I record one microphone channel and one line channel with the Schertler yellow single. 
So what I do is I record with a cardioid microphone that is angled towards the bridge of the hurdy-gurdy. I have just come to the conclusion that this sounds the best for me personally. It picks up all the notes, a really warm sound, and you have the clacking of the keys that is not too loud but is very present and I really think that's important with the hurdy-gurdy because it's an essential part of the instrument. But as with every other instrument, you just have to listen and see what works for you. And if you're in a purely acoustic band or you're only recording hurdy-gurdy, you might want to add room microphones or whatnot. So now we'll have a listen to what the microphone alone sounds like. <laughs> So that is that. Um, now we're going to listen to the yellow single, the line signal. First I'm going to show you what it sounds like when the EQ is flat. Make sure I'm going to play the same thing so that we can compare. <laughs> For me, this is this sound is a bit too uh, sharp. So what I like to do is add the warm button, which is a magical uh, Schertler setting. And as you can imagine, it sounds warm. <laughs> um, then what I do is I still add some of the high end to that so that it doesn't get too muddy. And then I take out some of the low mids and a little bit of the high mids so that it doesn't sound so nasal. So let's listen to that. Yeah, so keep in mind that this signal is basically added to the microphone signal. So what I'm gonna do in the mix is I'm going to have the microphone as my as the main channel for the hurdy-gurdy and then I'm going to add the line signal and see what mix of the two I like best and then it's going to sound like this <laughs> So now we come to the reason why I initially decided to get the, the Schertler preamp and that was for live purposes. This is an electronically amplified hurdy-gurdy. It was also built by Sebastian Hilsmann. As you can see, it's very slim. It doesn't have the acoustic big um, body like the acoustic one does. Um, and it also doesn't sound as full, which is great for practice though. Um, the reason I had to get one of these was uh, that the acoustic hurdy just made it impossible to get a good live sound. As much as I love the sound in the studio, um, live it picks up everything. And if you have a loud drummer, it's just going to make it really hard to get a good live mix. So this kind of saved my life uh, for the live band setting. And to round things up, I got this preamp to make the sound as best as it could be live. Here, when I use it live, I don't use the warm button and I actually have the EQ pretty flat. This is what it sounds like. <laughs> Of course, I wouldn't use this for studio purposes, but I am mainly a, a rock musician, if you want to call it that. And that is also the reason why my preamp looks kind of fucked, if you want to put it like that. I've been using this on the road for years, and it's 
it's actually quite a miracle that it survived all of that. It's been to so many continents, so many countries. I dropped it. I stepped on it. Um, the writing is basically gone. So you can really see that it has been used and it's, it's really sturdy. And yeah, I can always rely on it. I'm very happy for it. So now I'll play something for you with the Schertler acoustic amp. It's sounding really nice and what I'm going to play is a hurdy-gurdy solo from my band's latest single. My band's called Cellar Darling and the song we just released is called The Spell. And the solo is pretty weird, it, it kind of switches between evil and happy sounding melodies. And it's quite special because it's tuned very low, so my drone is tuned to a B. And my melody string is tuned to an A. So um, that's pretty unusual, but I like the low notes. And so far nothing has broken when I've detuned it, so that's good. I hope you enjoy the tune. <laughs> 